Of course, there are other kinds of queries that can be conducted. For instance, a coding query. In other words, I want to look for all the data that's coded in particular ways. So I'm going to click Coding Query. And we have a chance to drop the nodes that, that we want to use in our coding query. So if I wanted to look at, for instance, all of the, let's look at our nodes and we'll just choose some. For instance, I have several different nodes here in the bottom of my list that have to do with writing. Write about the book, write, there's my write query. I'm going to leave that one out because I haven't coded there. Um, write in a journal, write opinion about r book, write what child says. What if I wanted to be able to see the results from all of those together? One of the ways to get that would be through a coding query. So um, it says for content matching these criteria, all of the following are true. And I'm going to, um, it's coded at any of these nodes because I want all the data that's at any one of those nodes. I'm going to select my nodes here. And I'm just going to click on all four of these, or all five of these uh, right nodes, and select them. You'll see them there. Um, and I should be able to run that query and get all of them at one time. And of course, there wasn't a lot of data coded there, so we just see four of them. But we've got, we write it down, we write in a journal. We write what my son says about the book. We write a comment about the story. So we got all of this, these writing type items at once. Next, I'm going to show how you might do a cross tabs query. This is a quick way to look at coding at particular nodes in relationship to demographic characteristics that may have come in in your classification sheet. So let's take these same writing nodes. Uh, I'll drag and drop them right over here on top of the nodes. I'm not going to take the right query one because I created that mechanically and I may not want to include that. So I've got my four writing nodes, write about the book, write journal, write opinions about the book, write what the child says. And I want to see if these seem to be differentially connected to males and females. So I'm going to say show node against um, I'll use attributes, there, and it says classification. I have to choose my student classification sheet because that's what it was called. And the attribute I want is gender. So I'm going to run the query. And what we get then is a cross tabs table that tell us how many, how many cases. And, and if we want to make sure what kind of data we have, if you, if you come to the top and click the results tab, it says show results as the number of cases coded. So if a particular student's case is coded to that um, node at all, we'll see the number there. That would be different to, to find the number of references that were coded. But here we, I want to see the number of cases coded. So I happen to see that um, all together, of course it's a very little data set with just a tiny little bit of coding, two males were coded at all four of those nodes, and one female had data coded at those four nodes. You can uh, use these heat maps to, to sh you know, and there's different possibilities, you know, with red being larger in this case. Um, there's lots of different options. You can also show, uh, show the cell values as counts. You can show row percentages or column percentages. There's lots of ways to look at this data that could be useful to you. Just as in our other queries, if you want to save these results, you have to click the Save Results button. If you want to save the query syntax, you have to click the Save Query Syntax. You can also conduct a matrix coding query, which essentially it can give you the exact same thing as a cross tabs if you chose to do categories and cross them with an attribute, or you can cross two different kinds, two different sets of categories if you'd like to do that in the matrix coding query. So I'm going to click on that one, and here we have the opportunity to drag, drag and drop whichever sets of um, categories we'd like to cross, and a matrix coding query is going to look for units that have the intersection of the exact codes that we're crossing. So if we choose, let's do times read. So we'll, the, time, the, the times that the books were read, I'm going to put them in the rows. And um, 
you know, if I were to choose, if I wanted to choose an attribute, which of course we can do with cross tabs, but if I did want to do that, I'll show you how that works. You click the little plus bot button under column and you can select attribute value. Um, I can select gender. And I then come down underneath gender and select the actual attribute and add it. Then if I want to select uh, male as an additional attribute. I do the same thing a second time. And then I can look to see how many times books were read and how that is how that connects with the classification attribute of male and female by running that query. We see that females read it twice in their families one time, male zero times. I have several items that deal with oral language, so I think I'm going to put them in there together. I'm going to use this vocabulary item, and then I'll use uh, talk about book. I've got actually three subcategories. If I want to know whether talk about books has been aggregated, I can right click on that. And um, I notice down here at the bottom, aggregate coding from child nodes is not clicked. So if I click that, now I know that if I use the talk about books category, it will it will have caught into it the, the items from all of three of these child notes. So I think that's how I'm going to do that. And let's see, there's another one, pronounce words. I'm going to I'm going to put that there. Uh, let's try the writing ones and see if we if there's any crossover between the way uh, families are talking about books and the way they're writing. So I'm going to, to drag and drop write about the book, write a journal, write opinion about the book, and write what the child says. Now this is only going to find items, intersection between, the only one that we see here is between vocabulary and write about book. So let's, if we want to see what that particular item is, all we need to do is double click on that and it will take us directly to the item. And it's the item, we write a comment about the story. That was coded at both, uh, in both of those places. Let's go back to our unsaved query um, to take a look. So that was, that was the intersection of vocabulary and write about the book. And we see that as the only one that, that has an intersection. So, of course, you have to be thinking conceptually about what kind of intersections you want to look at. Um, in the, so we're looking for intersections where we would have, but we would have a particular unit coded in more than one way.